COVID, like that wasn't even a real sneaker market. That was just like crazy prices. So people saying like sneaker reselling dead, et cetera, et cetera. This is how it's always been y'all. Like, Hey man, say man, it's Armand Too Real in the cut on the mic. As you can see in today, we are gonna be discussing something that's very controversial, but you know, kind of, you know, something cool. So drop a like, drop a sub and hit the notification bell to not miss no fire video. I got a lot of dope videos on the way. But um, today we're gonna be discussing like the current sneaker market and like what is going on with like Nike shoes, like Dunks, SBs, Jordans, whatever. Um, pretty much like everyone's been talking about, like it's been like a hot topic, like is market like dying, like on for sneaker resellers. And oh no, no. This, this can't be. Stuff like that and like this, for example, just like is Nike shoes just like going downhill type stuff because like, well, like in 2020, like shoes were going for crazy bread and stuff and like it was just like abnormal because like if you were a sneakerhead back in like 2016 2017 when like sneakers were really hot then too like because like yeezys were going on <clears throat> excuse me hold on one sec during like the 2016 2017 2018 like yeezy craze and stuff like that when like yeezys were going for crazy bread and stuff there was like like that was a really big opening like really big like hot like you know like that was a hot time to be like reselling shoes like especially yeezys because like they were going for dumb bread and like if you can get your hands on a pair of Yeezys for retail, you can make, you know, 400, 500, depending the model, maybe a thousand bucks like on a pair. So it was pretty crazy. Like during that time, like that was probably like the golden ages of like sneakers. I feel like like 2015 through like 2018 with like foams. Um, hold on one sec. All right, back to what I was saying. Um, like when foams, Yeezys and all that was going like crazy, like that was probably the two hottest models, like foams, Yeezys, etc. like Jordan ones, Jordan fours. Um, like everything was like booming, like business was booming as that boy Benjamin Kicks would say, like it, like it was crazy. But um, nowadays, like, and then like after like 2017, 2018, let me get back, like let me kind of like, like, you know, go in like the, you know, like, you know, in order. And then like when 2020 hit, like when COVID hit, like a lot of shoes, a lot of everything like was like, they, were stock, they weren't making as much stock and stuff like that. Like that was just everything, like everything was like slowed down on stock. So what does that do when like there's higher demand and less stock? prices go up so that's pretty much what happened with everything especially in sneaker market like panda dunks like panda dunks everything was like inflated i think that's the word like inflated i don't know if that's the right word but like inflated in like a high like like a positive way like everything went up crazy money like panda dunks were going for like 300 to 400 dollars which is insane everybody any sneakerhead knows that panda dunks shouldn't be going for that much so really during covid it attracted a lot of money hungry people that didn't really have no business to be in the sneaker market they kind of like attracted to the sneaker market and they're like oh my gosh if i can get a panda dunk for 100 bucks for retail i can flip it for 300 400 bucks which that was a good hustle but you know that attracted a lot of like like i said money hungry people that didn't really have no business in the sneaker game they're just in it for the money grab which is okay i guess you know i'm not gonna knock no one's hustle but you know a lot of people that's why a lot of people don't like sneaker resellers well it's a mixture between just like a lot of haters and then like people who may have paid like 300 dollars for panda dunks back in the day and they're like what the heck I spent $300 on Panda Dunks back in the day and that's that's way overcharged. Well, it is overcharged, but that's just how it was during like COVID. Dunks, et cetera, et cetera. We're going for crazy money. Jordan 1s, we're going for crazy money. Nowadays, if you look at Jordan 1s in 2024, you, they can't even sell Jordan 1s at their outlets for 50% off. Like, depending on the model, you know, some Jordan 1s are gonna sell no matter what, like more limited exclusive ones back in the day. Like there's certain like top three Jordan 1s, like the like models like that, they're gonna sell for the high either way because Back in the day, they didn't used to make like a million pairs of sneakers. They used to like, Nike didn't do that. Like they'd make like 200K max, stuff like that. So it has a lot to do with the sneaker market being so down, like Nike producing so many pairs. For example, this pair right here, the Jordan 4 Industrial Blues. In like 2012, like when these first released, like they weren't, they were actually going for similar numbers to these now, but back in 2012, they didn't make a million pairs of these. Like the original Military Blues, one of the original, I think, I know they had like another, like the original ones are like the 1989 ones or something like that, which that they like imitated on these Industrial Blues, AKA the Military Blues. They made about a million pairs of these. So market is like under retail or at retail, or the only size that's really going above retail is my size, 12 and a half. So, that's a really rare size, so obviously that size is always, always gonna like go for the high. Back into what I was saying though, pretty much sneaker market is really down right now. But if you're a sneakerhead, you know this is really normal. Like this is back to like during COVID, the prices were way too high. Like that is ad, like that was abnormal. It was like it was crazy. Like Travis Scotts were going for probably crazy money during COVID. Yeah, they probably were. And it was just like, you know, like that was like when the Travis craze was coming out, and like, you know, a lot of people saw it as a money grab, like, oh, if I can hit for retail, which 
hitting Travis's for retail is not easy. Like it ain't easy nowadays neither. Like it's like almost like near impossible to hit a, like a Travis Scott for retail, even nowadays. So like it like there's still like you know it doesn't take like it's more of like a luck thing but you know to get like a connection to get like a like bulk amount of like travises like it's still going to take like it's really difficult like it's not easy to get like a lot of travises for example trust me i've tried you know you can't <laughs> you can't find travises unless you have like a really in like the it, like in the business like probably on the travis scott team who can like plug you in and give you like multiple travises but you know obviously people find their ways like during covid and stuff there's people like benjamin kicks um there was people like Upscale Crack. He he's like you know RIP to Upscale Crack. You know he was a sneaker reseller in New York. I honestly didn't know about him till he passed away. I'm gonna be honest, but whenever like you see like people like him, he was like the type of person to have like ten Travis Scott fours whenever they came out and would be like he'd somehow get them. Like who knows how he got them, but he'd probably you know the back door was open. That <laughs> that's how he got them. But you know that's pretty much um like how it goes though. But like what I'm back to what I was saying. Like yeah sneakers are just kind of really low right now but if you're a sneakerhead you know this is how it's always been it just back to normal all the people who came in the game like just looking for a money grab to sell panda dunks and like people like real sneakerheads don't really care much for a panda dunk like they're a cool pair like they're just like you know just a mid pair that like, you can wear on the daily there's nothing wrong with them but you know people were selling them for like three to four hundred bucks which is just crazy like that's just overpriced so like COVID, like that wasn't even a real sneaker market. That was just like crazy prices. So people saying like sneaker reselling debt, etc., etc. This is how it's always been, y'all. Like market, like when shoes come out, like Jordan Fours and stuff, they don't just go for four hundred dollars off the bat unless it's like a some type of collab, like maybe like a Union Jordan Four or like some type of collab. You know, like this. That's not that's just not normal. Like you know, like Jordan Fours, like pairs like that, they go up over time. Like later on, they'll go to like three hundred fifty bucks to four hundred bucks real sneakerheads know this so it's just kind of getting back to like how it should be only like sneakerheads are actually passionate about sneakers are like in the game still and all the money grabbers are leaving the business because they know that there's not really a lot of money to make unless you have plugs in the business which that takes you know um that takes a good reputation that takes stuff like that stuff that most people aren't willing to do they're not really like really trying to go like the hard route they're trying to get the quick money which if you're trying to get the quick money nowadays that's just not going to work because for example you try to go buy out a, like a but like a drop when it comes out they're going to be going for under retail you're going to be losing money so you know it just the, like real sneakerheads know what to buy and what not to buy and then like the people who are money hungry and stuff they're just you know ever, obviously everyone makes mistakes and they might buy a bad product and might go under retail that happens but you know hold on one sec but yeah to answer the question though sneaker reselling and stuff like that is not dead but hold on let me just look at the nike stock real quick because like people like rumored that like it like went down 20 percent or something like that which is like why you know people are saying like that's why nike's hinting they're gonna come out with the chicago off white virgils again and stuff like that for the 10th year anniversary or something dumb so let me check the nike stock real quick and see how it's doing yeah the nike stock is doing really bad right now like it is really low i'm looking at it right now i'm probably popping on the screen but um yeah nike stock like apparently went down like 20 percent in a, like a night so like that's really bad so like you know nike stock has like you know it's like correlated to how the product like how nike's doing like if they're selling a lot then they're they're um their stock's probably gonna go up i think that's how it works but i'm not completely sure i'm pretty sure that is how it works though but um you know nike has been like having trouble selling like they couldn't even sell their industrial blues when they came out because they brung out so many pairs so hopefully this is a lesson to nike stop producing so many pairs i know the consumers don't care or like really any sneakerhead real sneakerheads do like to have limited pairs they don't want to have wear a pair that like there's a million pairs of them for example the industrial blues i will never wear these to a sneaker event right now like because like everyone and their mom is going to have them so I'm, like, I'm gonna wait until like people stop wearing them then i'm gonna pop, pop out and like you know start wearing them you know that's the type of person i am i'm not like a panda dunk type of guy that's just gonna wear something that everyone's got which there's nothing wrong with panda dunks i'm not a panda dunk hater which like a lot of people are panda dunk haters because they're just trying to make the quick buck and panda dunks don't go for jack nowadays so i'm not one of those people like there's nothing wrong with wearing panda dunk but you know shoes like that they were just inflated or whatever the word is they were going for way too much money during covid and then now people will see the prices of them and they're like oh sneaker reselling is dead no it's not it's back to normal this is like how it's always been like if you know you know like sneakers don't go for crazy bread unless it's like a collab for example the future sbs they just came out like this year that's like probably the hottest sb to come out this year so far the verde vistas are on the way which are going to be like a competitor but the future is obviously going to be doing more money because like they're just way nicer than the verdes to be honest but um we'll just see on stock numbers and stuff like that but um anyways yeah the futuras for example like they're going for crazy money right now like 
I don't really know where I'm going with that, but you know, pretty much what I'm trying to say is, yeah, they're going for crazy bread and like a shoe like that is always gonna go for crazy bread because like it's an exclusive nice shoe, especially SB. SBs are hot right now. They're kind of like dunks, how they were in 2020. Well, SB is a dunk, but it's like an SB dunk. But um, yeah, so they like, they get to what I'm saying. Like, yeah, that's the main reason why, you know, sneakers aren't doing too well right now is because like, you know, it's just getting back to normal how it always been. Like shoes that shouldn't be going for crazy money obviously aren't gonna be going for crazy money like back like for example jordan one mids and stuff were going for like three to four hundred bucks during like covid which it just wasn't normal that's just because like you know demand was high stock was low so yeah that's pretty much you know all i had to say in this video um drop a like drop a sub all that good stuff let me see how long this video has been real quick okay but i don't want to make this video too long but pretty much to answer the question is is sneaker reselling dead and stuff like that no it's not just for people who are trying to get a quick money grab yeah, it's gonna be dead for y'all because you know there's just not quick money to, unless you can get like a Travis Scott in bulk or something like that and then flip it. Which getting Travis's in bulk isn't easy. Getting like hot models, like the only thing flipping right now is Travis's, SBs, like future SBs, stuff like that, and maybe a J Balvin three. Those are flipping. You know, there's just certain models that are gonna flip, and then there's like you know most things are gonna break right now because people one don't have the money. The economy is really bad right now, stuff like that. But you can't blame on the economy and stuff. Well, you can, but um. You know, the certain models, like, there's people with money that are gonna pay up for sneakers still. That's what I'm, pretty much what I'm trying to say. So, sneaker reselling is not dead. It, it won't ever be dead. But, you know, for people, like I already said a million times, for people trying to get a quick money grab, right now it's gonna be dead because the economy's trash. People don't have money to blow on, like, the people don't have money to spend $200 on a Panda Dunk when it goes for 100 bucks retail, like, on the Nike website. Like, people aren't gonna do that. So, yeah. Anyways, drop a like, drop a sub, all that good stuff. I kinda wanna discuss this topic because I've been seeing videos of people saying, oh, sneakers are like dead and stuff. And just like, I want to drop a big paragraph under their comments, like saying what I'm saying right now, but I'm not going to do that. Cause I'm not about to be one of those people in the comment section try talking crap or talking negative. That's just not the type of person I am. So I want to bring this video kind of, um, you know, uh, what's, the, what, what's the word? Kind of like, you know, get vent real quick. So yeah, this was kind of like a venting video. Drop a like, drop a sub. I'm going to end the video off here. Peace. Just to kind of add on what I was saying, also people are saying like hype beast culture has a lot to do with sneaker market, which it kind of does, you know, things that are hype, like Travis Scott's, whatever. Supreme box logos used to be super hype back in the day. Look at them now. This Supreme tee I'm wearing goes for like hundred bucks. 2017, 2016, it'd be going for a thousand, probably $600 realistically. So yeah, a lot of, you know, trends come and go, but you know, you just gotta kind of ride the wave if you wanna like, you know, ride each wave if you want to like, you know, kind of like stay afloat in the sneaker market. Also, um, yeah, a lot of the hype beasts, I don't really mess with none of that hype beast stuff, like just wearing stuff just because it's hype. I, I personally wear what I like, which I feel like every real sneakerhead does. They only wear things they like. And some things that are hype, sometimes you like, you know what I'm saying? So it, that just isn't what it is. But obviously, I'm not, I'm not just gonna I'm not just gonna wear anything just because it's a Travis Scott or whatever. Like the Canaries that just came out, I, I wouldn't you wouldn't catch me wearing those. I just don't really like them. But you know, you could pull them off with a certain fit. Probably you know they're not horrible. But there's but there is like other horrible things like the big red boots stuff like that. Like little trends like that. Like obviously you wouldn't catch me wearing just because it's hype. Like heck no. But also people are saying like fake sneakers have a lot to do with like the sneaker market being down, which I wouldn't really say because you know. Um, Sne fake sneakers have always been around like they've always been around literally since i've probably been in the sneakers like Yeezys used to be faked heavily back in the day like there used to be like i remember like i bought like a few fakes thinking that they're real like yeah like sne like sne fake sneakers have always been a thing that doesn't really have too much of an effect on the real market because most people will like i feel like most people don't really care like they'll wear something fake and be like oh it's the same thing well it's not so yeah so people like me though that like like real stuff for example you know what i'm saying you know what I'm saying? My name's Armand Turo, so you, you think you're gonna catch me wearing some fake sneakers? Heck no. Like, I only mess with real sneakers and stuff like that, so people like real sneakerheads, they're not gonna, you're not gonna catch them wearing no fake sneakers just to, you know, look cool and stuff like that, just to wear something to hype. You know, that's just, you know, that's just for people, that's for the, you know, the wannabe hype beast and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, I'm not hating on none of that, but, you know, that is kind of whack, but, you know, anyways, yeah, there, but there was, like, a lot of people that got in trouble for, like, selling fake sneakers, like, Omi and the Hellcat stuff like people like him he like literally bootleg compared like completely the jordan one i'll pop it on the screen like he put like a lightning bolt his logo like oh me and hellcat are free him though he's in jail right now i'm pretty sure prison one of the two so yeah free him but i don't think he went to jail for that he went to jail for like fraud or something but he did get sued like for like a million bucks or something or, like 10 million bucks or something crazy from nike because nike knew that he had that bag because he was flexing all those cars and stuff online so nike was coming for him 
but um yeah i kind of want to you know and um bring in those two details fake sneakers and also um hype beast culture like how that kind of like has people you know think that might have an effect hold on one sec i just kind of want to add that those two details in the video but yeah i'm, the, I'm gonna end the video off here i don't want to make this video too too long drop a like drop a sub all that good stuff hit the notification bell to not miss no fire videos and i'm out of this bitch peace